What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing on the four-seater go-kart build. Now in the last episode we started on the front end, we had the uh, bottom of the frame done and the hoop in the rear that's going to connect to the roll cage. So today I think we're going to tackle most of the front end, that's the probably the most time consuming because there's so many weird angle cuts, but um, let me tell you this go-kart's turning out pretty nice. There are some secrets that I am keeping with this go-kart, uh, a few little additions that I'm not going to tell until they're out on the episode. but. Uh, I need to state this everybody's been telling me to put the V twin on this go-kart and I'm not putting the V twin on it. it's way too much power for what we're using this for this is a kids go-kart designed for 14 year old and under this is not meant for me I'm probably gonna barely fit in the driver's seat but that's the way I designed it I wanted this to be completely driven towards kids so we're going to go with a 420 cc because it has electric start i really wanted to go with a 212 but on paper it looked like it was going to be okay but it's still very light this frame may look like it weighs a lot i mean this isn't thin walled tubing that we're using this is some thick walled stuff so um me and lonnie the other night picked it up and the thing weighs i mean it feels like nothing when you lift it pretty surprising i am going to stiffen up the floor pan a little bit uh with some braces but pretty much uh should be a few more episodes and this thing's gonna be running so let's quit yapping and let's get the building I think the front end's coming out pretty nice. It uh, looks pretty sweet to me. These are gonna be the headlight holes on each side. Looks pretty aggressive, I think. Don't know what I'm gonna do in this opening right here. Uh, it definitely will have something in there. And now I'm going to cap off these ends and I've already capped up this gap and then I can grind that all smooth and make it look nice. Um, I haven't gapped or filled this gap yet. You can see how the pipe had to meet the other piece of pipe. So I have a little piece of metal cut out. That's the same thing that I did 
on this side cut out a little piece of tri piece of triangle and then I filled the the big gap up here with just weld so you can see right there the big gap up top that I'll have to fill and then that little triangle will be in here and I'll weld all the way around it and then I can take a flap disc and grind it out so basically I got to cap off these two sides to make it look nice and then uh, weld around this and cap that side and then I can start on the the side pieces that's going to go in here now in these two openings right here there'll be sheet metal so far up from the dash and from the front then there's going to be some flat stock kind of welded in like vents going up i think it'll look pretty aggressive like that but uh here's a front shot i think it looks pretty sweet and like i said i'm going to make my own headlights for this and uh to keep that aggressive look but it's turned out good so i'm going to go ahead and cap off all these and and uh, we'll start working on the side openings So guys, what do you think of that front end? It's uh, turned out way better than I had pictured it in my head. I really didn't know how the front end was gonna turn out because I didn't really draw how it was gonna look from, from straight ahead, but I'm really liking it. I'm gonna build some LED headlights um, that'll fall right into them holes. I'm probably gonna use what's called, if you look on Amazon, you can find, I believe they're called Eagle Eye LEDs. They're like real small projector LEDs. Pretty much the last thing we gotta do to finish up this front end is I gotta cut another 22 and a half degrees to kick this this way to kind of follow this bar down here. And then I'm gonna have to notch it, um, do like a little weird notch on that side of it for each side. And then I'll probably take 
a bar and slant one from here down to that side piece but I think it looks awesome I did have I did make one small mistake but I fixed it on these sidebars I must have got my numbers wrong the backs was correct in height wise but the front this one was a half an inch higher than the opposite side so end up having to cut it off and uh, push it down a little bit and weld it but no problem we fixed it all uh yeah i got some junk hanging over the back where i cleaned my toolbox out on my truck but i'm really liking it quite a bit there's going to be like a custom rbg grill in there i'm probably going to v some steel uh from the top corners v down in the middle and then have rbg sitting in the center of the v and have some heavy like mesh inside the grill and everything will be the rbg will be neon green but the the mesh and everything will be black because like i said this will be kawasaki green and black but let me know what y'all think about this if y'all see any improvements i can do before the next video uh, let me know for sure once this front end's all done then i'll start on the row cage and i still have to mount the driver's side seat so or the driver's seat so that'll be on the next video and we'll finish this front end on the next video i have enough to to finish this one out and i have grinded the welds down on the front i'm not going to do every weld on the go-kart just the ones you'll see uh, but really liking it though for sure once the tires and everything get on it and the road cage is finished it's going to really stand out uh another thing so basically next episode the seat will get mounted i'll finish those side pieces on this front end and we'll go ahead and probably do up the grill and depends on how much time that takes we'll do the row cage so guys let me know what y'all think of this build and let me know if y'all want to see any other parts of the build i know i don't show me cutting the steel out i got a notch a lot with my my angle grinder and then straight cuts i'm just doing with the chop saw but let me know if y'all want to see some of the cuts that i'm doing uh, it's pretty easy i have a couple of tools i think one's right behind me i use this a lot for angles it's a uh, really handy it's kind of like a speed square that uh has the angle setting on that puppy so and then the good old porter cable angle grinder i actually have two of these one i keep a flat disc on and the other i keep uh just a cutting disc on it's really handy about two weeks ago i didn't have to and i was constantly switching them things out drove me insane but i've, I've been trying to spend as much time as i can on this go-kart it takes a butt ton of time to make a video like i said in the last last episode i'm trying to put out one a week and then one to two other videos a week best i can today most of my time got ate up doing yard work so you know sometimes you got to be a grown-up and stop working on go-karts let me know if there's anything else y'all would like to see on this go-kart. Uh, any other additions to it that y'all think would be pretty cool. And uh, keep on staying tuned. This thing's going to be awesome. Okay, guys, I hope you are liking the four-seater build. The thing looks absolutely awesome. This front end reminds me completely of a Cadillac CTS. I didn't mean for that to happen. I was kind of building this off the top of my head. I didn't have no drawings on what the front end was going to look like. But I'm super pleased with it looking like a Cadillac. I think it is completely awesome. Once I get those sides of the front end finished, it'll really, really tie in the front end and the tires, of course. We are doing A-arm front suspension, and we're doing a rack and pinion steering on this. Uh, that It's not assisted by electric or hydraulic, but it is geared different, so they'll get a lot easier steering. Because like I mentioned in the first of the video, this is geared towards kids. This is not a go kart for grown ups. The V twin is not going on it. 420 cc Predator with electric start. Um, I really wanted electric start because I'm going to have a charging system. It's going to have headlights and tail lights, uh, not brake lights. It's just going to have tail lights uh, because my where we're going to be riding this is a neighborhood, so we're going to want to ride it in the little neighborhood a little bit. So I want cars to be able to see us and know we're there if we're riding at dusk. But, guys, let me know in the comments what else you want to see on this go-kart. I think it's going to be freaking awesome. I'm so excited to get this thing running. We don't have much more episodes, and we should see the thing driving. We're going to finish the, the few little things on the front end on the next episode, and hopefully go ahead and get the row cage put on, and maybe even the steering. I, I'm trying to plan these videos out the best I can, uh, trying to get parts together, 
piled up and figure out you know how i want to schedule these but don't forget to check out our sponsors go power sports provided all the parts uh steering wheel the tires the engine the torque converter the seats all the go-kart parts came from go power sports and we couldn't thank them enough for helping us out with this build make sure to go check out their website and use that discount code redbeard and get 10 percent off of these go-kart parts you need them you want them go get them also don't forget to go check out new dimension towers that make aluminum boat towers and they are pretty sweet and my brother's the main welder there he does all the welding so of course the welds are going to be amazing and you can buy towers for all types of ski boats they provided all the metal for this go-kart build we couldn't have did it without them and uh, really appreciate their help their links are in the description below where you can check out both websites so guys keep on following us on this build don't forget to like comment and subscribe share these videos because it helps us out a ton we're going to be doing some giveaway videos real soon uh, to celebrate the 10,000 or actually we're almost to 12,000 now but I'm trying to mark that milestone and we're almost to a million views collectively I can't thank y'all enough guys thank you for watching and supporting the channel make sure to go check us out on Facebook and Instagram you'll get inside scoops there was pictures of this go-karts front end before this video came up so uh, make sure you check us out and we will be doing some Facebook only giveaways very soon guys as always don't forget to come back to Redbeard's Garage and I'm out <laughs>